Hi, I'm Lessa Logan, and you've made it to the ballet stretches back, the last part of the ballet stretches. So let's talk about it. Welcome to OnlinePilatesClasses.com, the most supportive Pilates-loving community across the globe. Enjoy new weekly classes from our amazing teachers. Download the OnlinePilatesClasses.com app today. So this is probably everyone's favorite one to do because it's just like makes you feel like you're doing, you're stretching your quads out, right? But it's more than that. It's so much more than that. So we're going to nerd out about that today. But first, if you are here because you have the Barrels flashcards, thank you so much. I'm so, so grateful that you have them. I hope you're enjoying seeing how they, all the Barrels exercises work together and how the mat and reformer are complementary to the different exercises because the Barrels are really here to help us rock our mat and our reformer. And a lot of times when we see the word stretch next to a name, we think stretch, but we don't think like strength, right? And so the stretch, the ballet stretches to me is all ballet strength. It's, and, but also Joe would never use the word ballet. They would just be strength. These would be your strength exercises on your ladder barrel. Okay. So the transition typically would be from the stretches side and you just pivot around. Okay. So also you could stand facing this way and you could put the foot up there, right? So what a lot of people do is lean back though. This is typical. This is, yes, I have a stretch here, but this is totally cheating. So we want to come up over our foot with our knees next to each other. So we want this knee out to the side. I'm going to push this foot into the barrel. So my hips are over my one heel and I can bend and straighten my standing leg. Not only does that deepen the stretch here, but it gets me into the glute here and then we can just breathe. So I'm not resting. This leg is working. So I'm stretching the front of the quad here. I have hamstring and glute on and I'm pushing this foot into the barrel. I'm deaf. Everything's working. It's hard. You don't want this too long, but it's so good because you get this active static stretch, which is actually going to create flexibility in the front of your thigh. And then you can turn around and go to the other side. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this entire series. I love to know which ones are in your practice right now and which ones are going to be in your practice someday. You can put in the comments below as well as any questions you have. I go live on Sundays answering your questions at 9am Pacific time. And if you're an OPC member, you can ask us in the members only community and we answer those every single day. Thank you so very much. Have an awesome day.